This video is to introduce covalent bonding. Covalent bonding is the type of bonding that you get in non-metal elements and compounds that are made of just non-metals. Uh, on the periodic table, non-metals are everything that's on the right-hand side of that staircase divide, and hydrogen, which is the odd one out, is sometimes shown on the metal side. Non-metal atoms tend to want to gain electrons because that's their easiest way of getting up to a full outer shell. So that's what's going to happen. It's non-metals and each atom wants to gain electrons. So I'm going to do a diagram to show what happens and why. I'm going to show the bonding in a molecule of fluorine, which is F2, because it's diatomic, and I'm, we're going to see why that is. If I draw an atom of fluorine for our periodic table, fluorine is in group 7, uh, its atomic number is 9, so it's going to have 9 electrons in total, 2 in the first shell, and then 7 in the next shell. I'm going to show those electrons as crosses. So that's got its uh, seven electrons and it's out to shell. It wants to get one more. If I draw another atom of fluorine here, to tell the difference, this time I'm going to draw the electrons as dots. You can see that this one also wants to gain one electron. Now, if these moved towards each other, we might be able to see what could happen if these shells overlap with each other and they shared these electrons that they had. Let's draw that. Let's put them next to each other this time. That's the first shell. And that's the second shell. Okay, that's now showing what's happened once those atoms have moved towards each other. And by sharing, if you look at the number that each now has in its outer shell, including that one that is just shared from the other atom, both of these atoms now have a full outer shell of electrons. And they've done that by sharing electrons. So that's how covalent bonding works. What we've made here is a dot and cross diagram for a covalent um, substance. And that's different. It looks different to an ionic one. What actually is the bond then? What's holding that together? Well, if we were to take this part here and just zoom in there, what I've shown is that F there is the nucleus. And the nucleus is made of protons and neutrons. So overall, the nucleus is positive. And the same there for that other fluorine atom. And then we've got that shared pair of electrons, which are negative. So if we've got positive and then negative electrons here, what do we get between positive and negative? We get attraction. And the same here, we've got this positive nucleus and the pair of electrons there. So there's attraction there as well. So a covalent bond is the attraction between the positive nuclei here and here and the shared pair of electrons. This is a very strong force, the attraction there, which means these covalent bonds are very strong. I'll make other videos that show more examples of how to draw these dot and cross diagrams and what structure this leads to covalent compounds and elements having.